What's up guys, this is ShadowWolf810 and I've got some pretty ridiculous Battlefield gameplay for you and uh, I'm basically just gonna edit all the parts down so you see every kill I get. Um, this is a game of Rush on the map, I, Damavand Hills, Valley, something like that. I, I don't even remember to be honest with you so I apologize if I was uh, completely wrong but uh, yeah, so I just wanted to bring this to you guys to show you that I don't suck at Battlefield. Uh, my first gameplay I didn't do very well, and so some of you may be thinking to yourself, wow, I'm not going to watch any of Shadow Wolf's Battlefield gameplay because he sucks. But uh, the final score of this game is actually 39 and 12. So that's uh, pretty freaking good for a rush game type. And uh, a little, basically at the end of the match, I just died a lot, so I could have been a little bit better. But that's not the point of this video. I wanted to talk about the whole Call of Duty, I almost said COD and Call of Duty at the same time, which is still the same thing, so that would have been acceptable, but you get the idea. COD versus Battlefield arguments and how they're stupid, um, mostly because people on Battlefield seem to think that people who have only played Call of Duty before can't be good at Battlefield. And uh, I was playing the other day in a lobby and just instead of the random insults that you get like, oh, you're a bitch or you're a little faggot, go suck a dick, you know, like random crap like that. It was go back to Call of Duty, fanboy, and you know, stuff like that when uh, when you'd kill people. And it was it made me laugh so much because I'm a Call of Duty player who is good at Battlefield 2. So I'm pretty much just good at everything I touch. But, um, you know, that's not really the point. The whole point is that you can be good at two different games and you can like two different games at the same time and it's not like I like Call of Duty therefore I can't like Battlefield you know it's kind of stupid that whole uh, argument that these people are trying to do and you hear a lot of commentators talking about this the whole Battlefield Call of Duty argument so I figured I would put my spin of two cents worth on it spinning two cents at one I don't know anyway I just had a little like inception two pennies spinning moment. Anyway, um, some people are going to be better at different games. So, you know, somebody who's really good at absolutely destroying people on Call of Duty may not be as good at playing like a more team oriented role in Battlefield. And it could be the other way around. So that doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to suck at both or not be good at both or only be good at one and not the other. So, that's just kind of what I wanted to show you guys. It, and it doesn't make one game better than any other one. Just because, like, one person is good at it doesn't make the game better, you know? You really have to listen to somebody who likes them both. Or, well, who is good at them both to actually get an honest opinion on the uh, actual workings of the game and how it stands up to the rest of the games out there. So, when obviously, if you ask somebody who hates Battlefield and likes Call of Duty, if they think Battlefield 3 is good, they're going to be like, no, obviously it sucks, whether or not they've played it or not. And so, it, it's just kind of stupid, and I wanted to show you guys that and tell you guys about this just so you don't go and make yourselves look like retards by, uh, you know, trying to say, oh, Call of Duty is so much better than Battlefield because I like Call of Duty better. Uh, I mean, you can obviously have a preference for Call of Duty over Battlefield, but if you haven't played it and have like an actual reason for why Battlefield is better or why Call of Duty is better, then you probably shouldn't be talking. Um, and I don't, I don't really get why people compare Call of Duty and Battlefield together as one game. I mean, it's like, oh, we both shoot each other in each game, therefore we should judge each judge each game on the same criteria you know it's like why would you do that it, it, it's like comparing forza to mario kart because you both drive cars in it you know uh battlefield 3 is good because of the type of game it is and the quality it has and call of duty is good because of the type of game it is and the call and the quality that it has but you can't necessarily be like well battlefield's not as fast paced as call of duty so therefore battlefield sucks you know it, i mean it's a different type of game and you can't uh you can't compare the two like that so obviously you can compare them based on like mechanics and graphics and controls uh, i was gonna say controllability but you know controls works as well stuff like that or you could um what was i even saying i confused myself <laughs> um basically you can compare them on game mechanics like that but you can't really compare their funness level because they're two different types of games and, you know, it just doesn't work out like that. So, 
that's what I wanted to t t t tell you guys about. Main point is that Battlefield's good for its own reasons. Modern Warfare 3 is going to be good for its own reasons, more than likely anyway. I mean, it hasn't come out, but we've got some pretty high expectations, and it is the most highly selling game, basically, in the world. So, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you guys, and uh, I've got some updates for you at the end of this video, which is now, so just in case you were wondering, um, almost the end, anyway. But there are about five videos that I posted this week, and uh, normally, actually it was in like the last three days, and I don't like doing that, but two of them actually ended up coming up to where um, I needed to do them at that particular time. Like Battlefield, I wanted to release my first impressions video quickly, like as to when it came out, so you guys had my legit first impressions and everything. <coughs> Excuse me. And everything. So, like there's that, and then... Um, Oh, anyway, point is, I had to post a lot, so I wanted to tell my new subscribers that I don't normally post that much. Usually, the most it'll be is one a day, and if it's not one a day, it'll be like one and then like a little clip of something, something like that. So, I just wanted to tell you guys I'm, I don't spam you that often. <laughs> I do post a lot of content, but... Um, I, I'm not trying to spam you guys. So, at the end of this video, I'm going to put links to all the videos I put up this week. One, because, uh, since I posted so many of them, not a lot of you watched all of them. And also because I'm pretty sure that the sub boxes decided to die on me while I was posting a few of them. And so a few of them don't have that many views. So, the links at the end of the video are going to be the link to the, uh, first shuttles featured of the week. And then, actually, it's the second Shuttles Features of the Week, and then the third one. Uh, so you got Covenant Supercarrier and Ice Cream Man. And then you've got my Battlefield 3 first gameplay impressions whatever video. And then I submitted a badge to the Respawn Army, so you can watch that. It's like 45 seconds long and a little witty commentary by me. And then uh, I've got a little clip of me starting up Shuttles Featured Clips once again. So you can go watch that video or any of the other ones. Uh, if you missed them or if you just, you know, want to watch them again or whatever. But uh, that's all for now, guys. So if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like rating and a comment with questions and all that cool stuff. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.